Hey you guys, um, happy Halloween. I just wanted to do this quick video with this doll. Um, I did a review on her a long time ago, but way back when I first started the channel. And this is going to be a more clear view of the doll that I have. Um, this is called uh, My Salon Doll. You can get these at MySalonDoll.com. And these dolls are 100% um, vinyl. There's no um, like plushy stuff. So this is all vinyl so she can go in the water and do, see, she's got a tummy. And she's got a hard body. This doll is all vinyl. Um, 100% um, rooted human hair. So there's, there's no synthetic hair. She's rooted like if you have a mannequin head. If you ever seen the mannequin head, how they're rooted strand by strand. It's the same thing with these dolls. They have a root pattern like a mannequin head. So it's not like a Barbie where it's like clump, 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 clump. I could show you that too. I'll show you that in a few minutes actually. And this is her face right here. She's a very pretty doll. This, this one's called Bryn. Now these are available at mysalondoll.com. They have different ethnicities. Um, black, they have um, Hispanic and white. Just different type tones. You could pretty much tell. But they don't have an actual kinky hair doll. So it'll be a textured hair doll. But it won't be like a coil. Or it'll be like more of, a, more of like if you were to put a relaxer in your hair. Um, so... This doll's name is Brand. They do have different outfits. They, they all come with outfits. So, um, this Brand doll came as is. Now, the range, price range is um, the same price as, a, as an American Girl doll. So, um, they have deep set eyes. They don't blink. So, they're actually sealed. So, that's why they can go in the water. So, they can go in the water. No water is going to get into their eyes. They won't rust or anything like that. So, they're meant for a water play. And this is, pro uh, to, to what I'm seeing, this is processed human hair. This is not like virgin human hair. It's been bleached out and things like that. So, this is going to be, I've been having her in my, in my room for at least a couple of years now. They do have an updated Rin doll with a newer outfit on. And I'll show you more about the dolls. I'll show you up and down pan views of her. And this is the hands right here. Very, it's all like a, like a flexible rubbery vinyl doll you can see what happens to the shoes though after a little while having already do I guess the glue that they use is kind of turning brown and like I said she is an older doll too she's not a brand new doll been having her now for a long time and um these dolls that you could buy the accessories like the curling irons the hair dryers the crimpers you know, and they all come with little pink gloves for heat protector, like a heat protection glove, like the, like the curling wand. If you know, if you have a curling wand, and it came with that glove. Now the child, they're all child size, so they're not going to be tremendously big. They're about maybe the curling iron's like this big, and the blow dryer is like this big, and they really work. And they come in different colors too, and the curling irons and the um and the straighteners and everything. They all come with little gloves, little hot pink gloves. That'll protect your child somewhat, but not to the extent to where it'll just keep her from getting burned. She'll feel heat, but she won't get burned. And um, as you can see, she does have very, very long, long hair. A little bit past her, but I think I'll be showing you her, um, her hair in a few minutes. just want to do this view for you guys so you can see what she really does look like. And like I said, she is a very high quality doll. She is on a $100 range. And these are the same, a little bit cheaper now than the American Girl dolls. Because the American Girl um, dolls, they raise their price. So now these are cheaper than, than the American Girl dolls. And these are 100% human hair, all vinyl. Go in the water. And with American Girl dolls, you really can't do that. Because they'll get messed up very quickly. If they ever do fall in the water or anything like that. You can see the um the condition of the hair is very processed. It's a little split, but it's not too bad. Um, you can wash and you can condition this hair. You can flat iron. You can curl this hair. Um, and like I said, this is a hundred percent human hair. And when I got her, I got her in a big, huge box with um she had like a um what you call it? Them she had tie wraps just on her neck and on her um on her feet just very basic minimal packaging and it said my salon doll and um i'll show you the rooting pattern too she's rooted just like a mannequin head so don't be like 
which is very, very finely rooted. You could see very natural appearing, like almost like a lace front wig. If you have, if you ever seen a lace front wig, very natural parting, very flat to the head, not like really wiggish and like three or four inches above the head. This is very natural, um, natural looking doll. So she does have a very finely rooted hair, like strain by strain. See when you lift it up, it's very natural looking. Um, she is a very pretty doll. I collect her. I don't play with her. Um, she's been in my doll room for a long time now. She looks like she needs a brush right now, though. This is a hundred percent human hair too, so this is gonna frizz and be and be um crazy and stuff like that because this is human hair. Um, so you can um. And when you're curling it too, I found that she matted really quickly. This is my second head now. I'm on my second head because the first one that I got, I curled her and I did all kind of things to her. So I'm on my second head right now. So I've experienced things with this doll already. That's why I decided to collect her because after I got a new one and I spent the money to have another one replaced, um, I decided to collect her instead of play with her because she does... I've experienced things with this doll as far as, as far as curling and blow dry, and I'll let you know all the details upon that. She does have um, pierced ears right here on both sides. Now, I did curl her hair before, the first one that I got, and I brushed her out, and her hair tends to dry out very quickly, so you really need to take care of this hair, really need to condition it, deep condition it, and, you know, keep it in good shape. Um... Um, products, you can use human hair, shampoo, human hair, like Aussie Moist. You need to use heat protectant on this doll um, also. So when you, before you curl a hair, you always want to use heat protector. Just like you would your own hair. Because this hair is not going to grow back. It's permanent. It's And like if you cut it, it's not going to grow at all. So. so you really need to take care of this doll really well. Always use heat protector when you when you curl on a doll hair, which I did not do, and her hair wandered up drying off and breaking off very fast. So you want to make sure you take care take care of this doll, especially when you curl in it. So when you curl it and you want to wash it out later on, it will get very matted and very tangled. So, like I said, when you do wash this hair, it will tangle and it will mat because it is human hair, just like you would, like if your mother does braid your hair or whatever before you go in the pool because your hair mats very easily it's the same thing with this doll this doll's hair will mat after you curl the hair and crimp it and do different things like that so that's why i don't i don't do heat styles on this doll's hair but you can though that's what these dolls are for anyway and so i've had experiences with this doll already i flat ironed her before and i curled her before and i'm on my second head right now and I find that she did shed a lot though after you start curling her and crimping her. Because what I did, which, I, which you're not supposed to do when you curl her, you're not supposed to hold a lot of tension towards the head. Like you're going to pull out the hair literally. I mean, it's firmly placed in there, but if you put enough tension on it, it will come out the head. So you would want to be gentle when you're curling the doll's hair and when you're crimping it. You don't want to put a lot of tension and pull. Especially when you're flat ironing, don't put a lot of tension on this doll's hair and she should last you a long, long time. And like I said, no, this is not a wig. This is a 100% human hair. Uh, she's rooted strain by strain, which gives her a natural, a very natural appearing parting right here, space right here. And I do collect this one because I've had experiences with this doll that I really don't want to buy another head again. And this is 100% human hair. She's got lashes too. I think the lashes are synthetic because it's really, really shiny and plastic. You can see it right there, how it's like really glistening in, glistening. So the, the artificial, they have artificial lashes, I think, because in my opinion, a uh, human hair is not supposed to be that shiny. And it's literally like glistening like Christmas tree. So anyway, you can buy these from uh, mysalondoll.com. Um, and the ladies, they have tutorials on YouTube. I subscribe to their channel so you can check my um, subscriptions to find all um, my salons, um, their um, YouTube channel. And they'll show you how to crimp and curl and special techniques that, that need that need to be taken care of with this doll. And she'll tell you what to do and what not to do. 
and she'll do a more of an explanation like a detailed how to crimp it and how to curl it and um these are really cool dolls so i find it's better than american girl because you can crimp the hair and she's all you can see right there she's rooted strain by strain i just pulled it back so it's very finely very finely rooted um i'm a little bit scattered brain right now so and again, the American Girl dolls are plush, so you can't bring them in the water and you can't really do much with them. And the hair is plastic, which, is, which means you can't curl it or you can't straighten it or whatever. And these dolls, you can do everything with them. You can bring them in the water. You can blow dry the hair afterwards. You can deep condition them with human hair shampoo. You can do all kinds of different styles with these dolls. So um, these dolls are really, really awesome. And um, this is... And this is this is a brand doll. I mean, I've been having her for a couple of years, and this is what happens to the shoes. The shoes turn an orange color. I guess it's from the glue that they use to make the shoes. And the lady's very happy, more than happy to help you with any problems that you may have with the doll. So you just contact her, um, and she'll give you advice on what to do. And she's got a pivoting head too, right here. And again, they do sell additional outfits for these dolls too. They sell dresses and gowns and all kind of different sporty outfits. And they sell a actual hooded dryer, which means like it's like a hood and it's a tube. And then they have like your blow dryer that you buy from MySalonDoll.com. And you just slip it on there and you put the hair in rolls and you put the hood over the doll. And it actually is like a hoodie dryer. It's really, really cool. You can see that on video on mysalondoll.com. And these are really, really awesome dolls to have anyway. I highly recommend these dolls though if you're thinking about getting this. It's all it's the same. It's cheaper now than the American Girl dolls. So you have real human hair, all vinyl going to water, blow dryer, crimper, style her. You know, you could do whatever you want to this doll. You just gotta be very gentle because this is human hair. And you take care of it and you brush it, brush it slowly. Don't just like rip the brush through because you just pull the hair out completely. And you want to be very gentle with these dolls too because they are expensive. And um, and they do sell, and it does come with the heat protector glove for your child seeing the that way when she's curling and she can feel the heat and she knows to take the hand off. So it'll protect her from getting burned too. I wouldn't have done this though as far as that because that's like a lawsuit waiting to happen for me because if their child gets a burn from the um, curl line they could sue the company and say you sold um, heated products to children and you know what I'm saying just that kind of thing so anyway if you like this doll though just like this video and um, if you want to know any more information about these um, dolls I'm going to leave the, um, the link where you could buy these dolls below and again they have different hair colors different skin colors all kinds of things you could buy outfits hooded dryers just like american girl but better quality i find i'm i'm not saying that i won't never buy an american girl doll again which i will but um this is my one and only doll that i bought from them and it's I've been having that forever so anyway if you like this video just just um hit the like button below if you got any comments on this doll, if you want to know anything more about her, just leave a comment below. Okay, you guys? Thank you. Bye.